Hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am finally here to show you how I took my heat free hair for curls collection in this dark brown to this wonderful light brown color for the summertime. So if you're interested in how I bleached and toned the hair, please keep on watching. I am opting to use the Collided Colors Bleach in blue to lighten the hair because it's able to lift the dark brown hair up to five levels and then it'll also add back a cool tone to the underexposed pigment which will help cancel or help prevent some of the brassiness from occurring. To the bleach, I will add 30 volume developer. Now to tone the hair, I will be using the Wella Color Charm Toner in level 8 and level 7. I'll also mix the toner with 20 volume developer. To deep condition the hair after every session, I will use this Shea Moisture Conditioner. You'll need gloves, a bowl, and some clips. I began by mixing two scoops of the bleach and then measuring out the 30 volume developer, but then realized that that was an inefficient way of mixing it. So what you basically want to do is add enough developer so that the consistency turns to more of a yogurt. You do not need to measure out the developer, um, but you do want to make sure that the consistency is very liquidy and yogurty, which is easier to spread. I set my timer to five minutes because I wanted to apply the bleach to the tips of the hair so that the tips ended up being lighter than the rest of the hair. So I'm just applying the bleach to the ends of the hair and then I'll let it sit for the full five minutes. I want to make sure that, it, that the entire hair is completely saturated with the bleach. So do not be stingy with the bleach mixture. After five minutes, I went ahead to balayage the bleach onto the rest of the hair. Now the balayage technique is essentially turning your brush to the side and making long strokes along the hair to give it a more highlighted look. I love the balayage technique and every time that I dye my hair, I always use it because I feel like it gives it a little bit more dimension. When bleaching your hair, you always want to make sure that you turn your wefts over to the side so that you can apply bleach to the back side of the hair. Um, I find with kinky hair, the bleach never really permeates all the way through, so you want to make sure that you apply bleach to the front and then as well to the back of the hair. I allow the bleach mixture to sit on the hair for another half an hour, and as you can see, the ends are starting to lighten, and that's because I did apply the bleach first. After 30 minutes, I went in to rinse out the bleach and then shampoo the hair just to make sure I got all of it out. And this is the point where I realized the heat free hair is really, really, really good quality. The hair still felt so soft and there was absolutely zero curl definition loss. So after I used my shampoo, I went ahead to deep condition this hair and then start bleaching the second bundle. And just like the last bundle, I allowed the bleach to sit on this hair for about 30 minutes. Then I went to shampoo the hair and then condition it as well. And I'm just absolutely loving how I'm able to rake my fingers through the hair. And that as I'm feeling it, the hair is so soft. And then you can see that I just didn't lose any of the curl definition. Now this is what the hair looks like immediately after bleaching the hair. This is the hair when it's dried. As you can see, it lifted really nicely. The curl pattern is still there, but I'm a little hesitant on keeping it this bright, so I want to tone it down just a bit to add a more cool or ashy tone to the hair. Now proper coloring of the hair is a two-step process. The first step is when you'll bleach the hair to make it lighter or lift it, and then the second step is when you tone the hair or deposit color onto the hair. So for the toner, I'm using level 8, and I'm going to be adding 20 volume developer. Now the package says to add twice the amount of developer, so what I'm essentially doing is that I'm emptying the toner into my bowl, then I'm filling the bottle up twice with the developer, and that's how that I know I have equal parts. So I'm essentially mixing the 7N natural and the 8N natural. <laughs> 
in addition I'm also adding a bit of the Wella color charm color additive in violet as I mentioned when you lift dark hair you expose an underlying orange pigment which contributes to brassiness so in order to cancel the orange color you'll want to add back a cool tone in this instance I'm adding the Wella color charm cooling violet to the toner mixture to cancel any brassiness and to also add an ashy tint to the toner I apply the toner mixture to both of the bundles, making sure to really saturate it so that the developer and the toner hits all parts of the hair. Now unlike the bleach, I'm using saran wrap here because I just want it to process normally. Now I make sure to again saturate both sides of the hair with the toner and developer mixture. I'm going to leave this on the hair for 30 minutes, then rinse and deep condition as usual. And here's the final look. I absolutely love it. You can see it's a little bit more ashy and a little bit less brassy. But what I love about it is that it completely matches my natural hair texture. As you guys know, I went to Hudiful and had my hair dyed. This really does match my hair color as well as a natural texture. Now that will be my leave out and then I'm going to use this hair um, in its natural texture or I may do some other styles but I'm really happy with how the color turned out. I think it's perfect for the summer and I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions on how to dye hair or the hair coloring process, please leave them for below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!